Hello my darlings and welcome to yet another unboxing video. Yes, Daisy. Daisy's very giddy today about this one, aren't you? Maybe she's giddy because it smells like horse manure and she thinks there's a live animal inside this box. Well, it could well be, Daisy. Knowing this cellar, there could be any number of creepy crawlies and wild creatures making a home inside this box of a Hoover sensory. But, mm, you go down there, darling. So, hello, welcome to, yes, another unboxing. Another vintage-ish vacuum cleaner for you. This one is a Hoover sensory. They continued making this in China. Um, up until fairly recently, actually, they did uh, bagged and bagless versions. This is a bagged version, but this is made in the United Kingdom. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, any of you know-it-alls out there, uh, and I mean that more sincerely, folks, you know it all. No, I'm sure, I'm very welcome of any extra input you have. Um, I believe that this was one of the last not this particular one, but this range was one of the last to be produced in the United Kingdom before Hoover up sticks and took all production to China. So, let's get this Hoover sensory opened and have a look inside. Okay, here we go. What uh, model is it? Let's have a look for you. It's a model TS2165001. It's finished in red metallic. Gross weight is 8.6 kilograms, made in the UK. 2100 watt maximum motor, 410 air watts of suction power, according to IEC 60312 standard. Electronic rotary power control, silent power, yes. I take that with a pinch of salt, Hoover. Exhaust HEPA H12 washable filter, pure fit paper bag, Telescopic tube, carpet and floor nozzle, working radius 9 metres, colour red metallic. So there we go. Daisy Daisy. You insist, don't you? I don't know what you're after, darling. I don't know what you're after. Actually, I do. I think it's about time that Daisy and Molly got a T-R-E-A-T. -E That's what she's after. Well, after I've done this one, I've got another vacuum to unbox after this, actually. But, in between the unboxings, I will give you what you, are, what you want, Daisy. Maybe you'll leave me alone for two minutes to get on with showing the good people on YouTube what I have in my box. Here we go, look. Ooh, oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Oh, anyway, this seems okay because it's nicely sealed up. A nice big solid. If you're watching, Jack, Jack Stryker. Now Jack Stryker is a gentleman that for some reason watches some of my videos. He has his own channel, nothing to do with vacuum cleaners, but I did mention to Mr. Stryker in one of his videos, it was about self-defense and what I would do to arm myself if anyone broke into my house. And there's plenty of these lying around. And that is, that's a formidable weapon. And because it's a good British made one, I think that will stand up to quite a, a lot of pounding the skull of any bad man or lady that happens to cross my threshold uninvited. So think on. Look at that. You've got the little ridges on the back so you can adjust it. Oh, it feels, oh, the difference. I mean, I know they weren't the best of quality Hoover cleaners towards the end, even in the UK, but compared to a Chinese one, that's a good solid and thank th thankfully, thankfully, rust free extension one. It's rust free inside as well. So that's good. That's the first thing out of the box. The second thing we have the curved part, the handle part of the hose. No suction relief there. We do have an electronic control but nothing we can manually adjust. There's a little bracket there, I assume that's for the god-awful multi-tool. It's either a two or a three-in-one on this machine. I'm not sure which but we'll soon find out, won't we? There we go. What else? Oh look, a little sensory specification list. 
Mm -hmm. So this has, oh I don't even know what the model, anyway it's got, it just tells me what it's got. Doesn't have a turbo nozzle. They didn't produce, as far as I know, in the UK anyway, they didn't produce a sensory with a power nozzle. There's the old uh, guarantee. Do break the quick start guide for those impatient folk who can't wait to get started. I don't think I'll need to look at these instructions. I know these instructions like the back of my hand. But anyway, there we go. Boring. Just a few pictures and text at the back. Right, in, into the tools. Right, so it's a, it's a two-in-one. Horrible, horrible, horrible design. But anyway, that's what we have. So, we've got the crevice tool one side. So by inserting the handle in this way, we have it as a crevice. And if we insert the handle this way, we have this sort of upholstery nozzle. Not very nice. Obviously, if it's a three-in-one, it would have two little sliders either side and a little brush would pop out of the middle for doing all your dusting. Useless. All right, oh, shame. Here's the carpet and floor nozzle. I say shame because it's plastic. Yee. Plastic base plate, yucky, yucky. Don't like that. You've got the litter pickers though, either side of the suction inlet, some wheels at the back there, and of course you've got your foot pedal for lowering the brush, a brush at the front, and a squeegee at the back. You know, it's a, ho it's a nozzle, it's a nozzle. Push friction fit, you've got the little bracket for either putting it in the storage position or the parking position. And we have a bit of nice Hoover branding embossed on the cleaning head. So that is all the tools. Of course, I am hoping that they, the hose will be around the body of the machine. It better be. <laughs> yes, it is. Phew. It's always, always with a bit of fear and dread when I open these. Now that, that doesn't actually swivel in the hose, but when the hose is in the machine, the whole thing does swivel. And I believe it is, yes. You see, Hoover were doing this long before other manufacturers, before Pneumatic introduced it, before Sebo introduced it. We have, in fact, actually, I think other, other manufacturers did this years ago. It's a tapered hose. So it's thicker at the cleaner end, thicker than it is at the suction end. That is supposed to increase the suction, I believe. I don't know if you can quite see that this end is much thicker than this end. I believe it helps to prevent blockages. This is the handle that you need to push in and then it just, there's a little sort of locking ring that I just need to pop into place until it clicks. Well, it didn't click, but it is in. So that's the hose connected to the handle. Right, there we go. So that's everything. Now for the cleaner itself, the metallic red. Let's pop that there. Check the box. No, no spiders this time. And this is so important. I don't know why, but they've wrapped it. They didn't put it in with the other instructions it's been wrapped with the machine service plan uh, that is a hoover hurricane i believe is it yes a hoover hurricane a decent hoover hurricane not like the hoover hurricane you can buy now in fact if you watch mrs brown's boys some of the earlier series anyway she had a red hoover often in the background in her living room and that was a hoover hurricane but not this Yes, there we go, so that's that. Right then, let's have a look at this striking red vacuum cleaner. It is a lovely metallic finish. It might be a little hard for you to see, but it's not um, a solid red colour. It is a metallic, it's got little metallic flecks in it. And let me check if it's metallic all the way through. 
Yes, it is. It's not a sprayed on metallic finish like you often get nowadays. Oh, that smelled nice. That was a nice new vacuum smell. So here we have it. I've always thought the sen sensory was a rather fat cleaner. It's a bit like a Telios that had eaten a bit too many buns, you know. Not that they eat buns, but you know what I mean. It just looks a bit, a little bit fat, a little bit stout. So, uh, what's the other word? I don't know. But anyway, to me, it's, it's not all that pretty looking. It just looks short and stout. But it could be powerful, you know, it could be, so that's, I'm thinking, stocky is what I'm thinking of. It's a stocky little machine. I do like that. Great big Hoover branding there. And of course, the same on that side. Two big wheels, whoops. Close, two big wheels. Uh, on this spec, there's no sort of tire. On some of the more deluxe versions, they did one called the Sensory Floor Master that had all sorts of additional tools, had a turbo nozzle and a parquet nozzle. That also had a tyre on the wheels. This doesn't, so it's probably a base model, this. Of course, you've got your swivel caster. That's your parking bracket for storage. And that's where your main nozzle fits into, like that. And on the back here, we've got another bracket that again you can slot that into. Obviously you'd have the tube and hose attached. There's no, um, no sort of furniture guard on this. No sort of protection around it. So here we are, Hoover Sensory 2100. Nice little bit of a Hoover badge there. What does it say on it? Silent power, high efficiency, washable HEPA filter. Here's your bag check indicator. This is your auto cord rewind pedal, and this is your combined on off and variable speed control dial. So that's the out, outside of the machine. To access the bag, we lift that, and we can see a pleated HEPA type filter. I have I've had some sensories that didn't have the sort of pleated HEPA. They just had a sort of a fabric single layered filter. So that's at least a HEPA. It did say washable on the box, I believe. But nothing underneath. Yeah, I think, I think the one I had before had a, like a big foam filter diffuser and then the thinner. This just has a single HEPA. We've got the bag. Oops, I've pulled it out. It seals when you remove it. This one's paper, but I think the newer ones are a um, fleecy type material. And what's just fallen out, there is a pre-motor filter, which fits just over the motor. If I can turn the machine around, I'll help show you. Oh, it's very hard to see. There we go, can you? Just about, that's where the motor is. You can just see here, and that's where the filter should be in place, but it wasn't. Ah, oh, there's a little tab, so that needs to go like that. There we go. So that's in. And I wonder if it stops me from closing it if I haven't put the bag in. Yes. I can't close this, not without breaking it anyway, until there is a bag in position. So I'll just pop the bag back in, I'll just have to reopen the cover that closed when I removed it. Sometimes a bit tricky. Oops, there we go. Hang on a minute. There we are. And that just slots back in to there. Whoops, the daisy. Push that. There we go. That's in now. Oh, there's another little diffuser on the top. I suppose that can be washed. You see there, that little grey foamy filter. Okay, so that's it. A Hoover Sensory. Hopefully it'll work. I'll uh, attach the hose and we'll switch this machine on. Okay, so here it is with the hose attached. Now it did actually switch on when I plugged it in, so it is working, but it is on the lowest 
setting. So when I switch it on, we'll hear it at its lowest power setting and then I'll turn up the dial and see how noisy it gets. That's quite nice sounding. I was expecting as I turned it up for the high-pitched scream to come into play, but no, that was on full, and no high-pitched scream. It sounds quite a, a nice sounding motor, actually. I did have, and on my channel, if you search for it, I did have a dust manager version of this, which could be used bagged or bagless, and it certainly was a lot noisier than that. It did have the high-pitched scream we come to no. I was going to say in love, but no, we don't love it, but we do know it from Chinese made vacuums. I'm going to turn it on again just now, but this time it's, it's on full power, but I do believe this will start at a slower speed and ramp up, just a, a soft start feature. It's a good suck there and I could I could hear, I don't know if you could hear on camera, but as I blocked the end off I could hear the suction release valve coming into effect to stop the machine from overheating. A little valve opened up somewhere around here to let air through because I was blocking the airflow off from the hose. But if you do that with a normal vacuum cleaner, you run a normal vacuum cleaner with the end blocked for a long period of time you will overheat the motor because the, the motor starts to run at a higher speed with no air flowing through it and it, of course it will overheat. A lot of machines of course nowadays will cut out if that happens but most of them do also have that uh, little suction release thing. So anyway that's I'm quite, quite pleased with that little Hoover sensory. I will probably be doing a demo of this. It's a nice colour I'm just happy to have a sensory again, really, a British made one. Because anything British made, I don't really care what make it is anymore. If it's a British made vacuum, I do, I do tend to go for it. Because they tend to be much better made, the motors sound better than the Chinese ones. Although they might look the same, as I say, my sensory dust manager looked the same as this. This actually feels different though. It does feel better. Like I say, by the time this was made, the quality wasn't great from Hoover, but it was still better. Still better than what you get now on the whole from Hoover. I'm not saying every single Hoover cleaner made in China is appalling. There are some reasonable Hoover cleaners made in China, but all in all, most of them are pretty poor. So that's the Hoover Sensory 2100 watt bagged vacuum cleaner unbox standard, just a quick demo, not a proper demo. I will be doing a demo of this later on on my channel, so please subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload a new floor care video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.